Hey, you could have watched this video a day early. Check out my Patreon for more details. Hello, everybody. Uh, welcome to what might be my, well, one of my favorite games of 2021. It is a very simple game, and it is a very short game, but it's just so, like, it's not perfect, but you know those games that you play where you think to yourself, oh man, this is peak video games. You can't get any better than this. That is that is what this game is. This is a game called Crumble. Uh, I know I'm not showing the title screen right now. I, I would if I could go back, but I can't. So this game is called Crumble. It is available on Steam, and it is one of my favorite games of 2021, like I just said. And as soon as we get into like the first level, you'll understand why this is one of my favorite games of all time. So, you play as a little goo boy, and you roll around, but you also have a grappling hook. <laughs> That's it. That's it. This game is one of my favorites, just because of the fact that you can just run around with a grappling hook and have a good time. Like, this game is... Imagine someone at Sega was like, hey, what if we just gave Sonic a grappling hook? And that's what this is. It, this is exactly what would happen if you just gave Sonic a grappling hook and made him a little a little doughboy. <laughs> and all the speed, all the physics, all the everything, it's still perfect. It's It just feels good, you know? This game reminds me of uh, Grow Home, you know? Where if you've played that game, you know that well, <laughs> that is not a, a very intense game, but it's just fun to run around, you know? And that, that's that's what I feel from this game. It's it's feel good. You just, you, 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 you be a little doughboy and you get a grappling hook and that's it. <laughs> I'm a very simple man, okay? I have things that I enjoy. I don't need things like a complicated story, or characters, or motivations. I just need to be able to go fast and have a grappling hook. The, uh, the speed runs, the speed runs of this game. Oh my god. You'll, you'll see. At the end of every level, there is uh, a worldwide public leaderboard. Well, I mean, maybe if I could like... There we go. <laughs> There's a worldwide public leaderboard where you can see just how fast some people have been able to beat these levels. And I'm talking like 10 seconds. You know, like people have been able to beat these levels in 10 seconds and or less. It's wild. Like here we go. We're going to we're going to see this first time trial for this level. 28 seconds. 28 fucking seconds it takes to beat that level. Like if if you were to sit down and watch some excellent speed runs of this game. It's like, you can't, uh, like I said, I'm a simple man and I, I'm getting flabbergasted by just the, the perfection in this game's simplicity. I don't need to have, I don't need to have complex stories. I don't need to have character development. I don't need any of that dumb shit. Right, jump god. There we go. I just got an achievement. I don't know if that's no. It is showing up on the recording. Yeah, I'm a jump god, and there we go. That's all. That's all you need. Here we go. Let's let's fucking swing. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. Let's just swing, and then we'll bounce. <laughs> this. Uh, if you're a fan of just simple physics-based platformers. I highly, highly recommend giving this game a shot. It's like 15, 20 bucks on Steam. It was developed by one guy, I would also like to mention. So not, oh, look at that. There's a little collectible. There's a little collectible doughboy down there. Um, it was made by one guy, so you can feel good about supporting an independent developer who just wants to make a fun game. And I feel like... I forget the I forget I forget the developer's name. I will put the I will put their name on the screen right now if I remember, which I hope I do, because they definitely deserve some recognition. If not, I will uh, try to include a link to this game in the description down below. Uh, because it definitely deserves more attention. 
This game is so goddamn good. Like, I knew I fell in love with this game the second I got to this level. You know, you know what I said? Give Sonic a grappling hook? Well, here you go, bitch. This is what I meant when I said give Sonic a grappling hook. Because you can just go so goddamn fast! It's- whoa! <gasps> <laughs> it's so much goddamn fun and with the grappling hook you can like save yourself from perilous falls and shit Also, this is why the game is called crumble because the world is literally crumbling around you Ah, uh, ah uh. Like this is not my favorite game of 2021 it just isn't right. I, I have games that I like more but out of the games that I've played I think there's only one I've played this year that has just made me so goddamn happy. Like, one, one game that has made me more god, like, just happy than this game. Right, and we'll, we'll talk about that stuff at a later date. But for now, let's, let's just enjoy this one. This is just a feel-good game where you just get to fucking zoom through levels and have a little fucking Doughboy grappling hook. What more do you need? This is peak video games, man. Like, I, I get into arguments all the time with a couple of my friends who are like, man, games need a gripping story and games need, like, character development and they need to make you feel bad and cry and all that stupid shit. And I'm sitting here like, nah, man. <clears throat> I already cry enough in my day-to-day -day life. I just want a game where I can have fun. That's all I need. And this 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 game is I, I welcome to 20 to 30 minutes of Pav just sucking this game's dick. I, and I will. I will continue to do that because it absolutely fucking deserves it. All right. <clears throat> and we're not even getting into the coolest part of this game. Right. You might think that this is some cool shit. No 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 no. We haven't reached the coolest part yet. And trust me, we will reach the coolest part as soon as I beat this first world. When we're able to see uh, the map. I've already beaten this game. It took me like two hours to beat it. You know, it's not a long game. Maybe if I could actually use the grappling hook properly. <laughs> it's not a very long game, but it it's, ooh, yeah, I got him. But it stuck with me, you know? Just because of just, it's, it's just fun. You know, like I love, whoa, I love Monster Hunter, right? I love Metroid. I love a bunch of games. But there's something to be said about a game like this or a game like Grow Home where it has a simple mission where it's just, hey, let's be fun. Let's let's just take everything that we have in this game and let's just be fun. And this is definitely like one of my favorites of this genre. So I I said we would get to the cool shit, and we will. We'll play this one, The Other Dimension, and I really hope, because this killed my FPS last time I played it, so let's see if it'll actually work. I should also stress that any glitches that you see in this game might be due to the fact that I'm running this game on Linux, uh, which by the way, for the most part, this game runs flawlessly on Linux, right? Uh, I have no idea how well this upcoming level is going to run, but we'll, we'll see the further we get. Also, if you, in case you're wondering, uh, why is the game at ultra-wide resolution? Why am I recording at ultra-wide resolution? Uh, it's because I literally cannot change it back to 16 by 9 while it's on my monitor. So, oh well. Uh, I'm not really complaining. I like playing games at 16 by 9, or 21 by 9, excuse me. The only, ugh, fuck me. The only reason I don't uh, record all my videos in, uh, in 21 by 9 uh, is because I know that some people are not big fans of watching videos in this aspect ratio. Which, I mean, I get it. I get it. I get it. It's not, it's not, uh, it's not exactly fun to watch videos in a resolution that's not exactly native to your monitor. You know what? Fuck it. We're just going to skip all these mushrooms. We're just going to grappling hook our way out of it. And, uh, you know, you just, you fuck the, fuck the current path. Let's just, let's just, let's just do this. Let's just do this. Let's just swing under the level. Why not? We can. All right. We have to go over in this direction. Oh. <laughs> and then we'll, whoa. Huh. Yes. 
anyway, like I said, I literally cannot change the aspect ratio of this game, you know, made by one developer. I'm not exactly gonna lose my mind over, oh man, I can't change the aspect ratio. Anyway, here we go. Oh! <laughs> so, as much as I love this game's levels, as much as I love this game in general, I think the coolest part are the bonus levels. And we'll we'll play through some more bonus levels, don't you worry. Because come on, they're just the fucking coolest. Like, you would think that the whole game is about, you know, being a little goo boy and, and swinging through 3D levels. Yes, it is. But at the same fucking time, god damn it, uh, you also get bonus levels that just do crazy shit. And when I say these levels do crazy shit, I, I mean that. Like, you would never guess in a million years a game like this would have this kind of level design. Like, I'm already blown away at the turn a 3D game into a 2D game bit. Like, and again, this is all built by one guy. Like, it's hella impressive. I don't... <sighs> There's no way you can tell me that this game is not impressive at all. Like, it's just, ah, it's just fun. It's just fun. That's all you need in a game. You don't need anything else. You just need fun. Ah, that was bright. <laughs> okay, let's go over to some levels, some bonus levels that I haven't played. Okay, so I have actually not played this level. Um, here, what is this, 2H? Okay. We'll play 2F, 2H, and then 2I. We'll do we'll do that, and that will we'll show off a bit more of the the cool things that this game does. Let me actually let me let me check behind here. Maybe there's a secret. There's usually a secret. Whoa, hang on. There's like a little 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 cave back here. Can we go back here? Yeah, we can. Okay. Well, <laughs> we're flying a fucking plane, by the way, and the way you control the plane is by moving the little crumble boy along the, the fucking plane on the body of it. It's just, this is such a cool level. Like this is a level I'd expect to see in like, uh, just a off the shelf, like, not off the shelf, but like a, uh, like a no name PS2 game that someone just put out. Cause it's like, hey, we have an idea for a game. Let's make it. And it's like, okay, cool, we have this engine, what are we gonna do with it? And then the, the, the development team is just like, oh yeah, let's just do this. Why not? We're a fucking indie development team, let's, ah! <laughs> I misjudged that. I misjudged that a little bit. Okay, we're gonna go out this way. Just cause I don't want to deal with that. Uh, and it's just, it's so impressive. It's just so impressive. Like, I've been, I've been thoroughly impressed by games this year, you know? I, but th the fact that this game was made by one guy just out of the sheer passion of making a game. And making games is hard. I don't know if you know this. Making games is a very difficult thing to do. It, mm, it makes me feel good. Uh, this game makes me feel good that I enjoy video games as much as I do. There's really nothing else to say about it. This is this is just a feel, oh God, that bloom. <laughs> Maybe I should turn that bloom down a little bit. Oh, no, we're good, we're good. It just feels nice. This game hits the same spots in my brain as the Wii Sports Resort Island Flyover minigame, you know? And not just because, ah, <laughs> and not just because I was flying a plane just there, but it's, it's simple. You don't need anything else. You just need a fun idea and you need to play with that fun idea. You know? Now this one, this one really caught me off guard. So this is actually part of the second world, and there's only five worlds in this game. I say only. There are five worlds in this game, and each of them have a unique aesthetic and a unique, uh, I want to say gimmick, but they have a uh, unique, unique obstacles. How about that? I'll, I'll say that. They have uh, unique things that you run into while you're playing through the levels. And the final level of this game 
Oh man, it is a gauntlet. It is a gauntlet and a half of a final stage. It took me like 20, maybe it took me 16 minutes. It took me like between 15 and 20 minutes to beat that final level. You know, that's just how fucking big this, this game can get. And it, like I said, it's just impressive. Also, hey, by the way, we're playing this cube game. You know, there's not there's nothing else. You don't need to worry about anything else, man. <laughs> Remember when I said this game was impressive? Yeah, yeah, this is what I meant. Okay, here we go. I have to actually think about this a little bit. Ah, damn it. We're fine, we're fine. I, I played this game in its entirety with a couple of my friends in a uh, voice call, in like a voice chat on Discord. And we were just having a fucking blast, you know? Playing through these bonus levels, it just made the whole, the whole chat feel good. And that's what I love about this kind of shit, you know? I, I don't know how many times I can say this in the same video, but it's just... It's just, it's, it's, it's fun, you know? Like, uh, Rhythm Heaven or WarioWare. You don't need, you don't need to have a bunch of stupid story beats and shit. Just, hey, l welcome to Pav's Video Game Propaganda, the episode. <laughs> I don't know how many times I can, look at that, even the rocket! Even the rocket is all QB. Oh, it's great. It's great. <laughs> 36 seconds? Jeez, man. Jeez. Now, this one I haven't played yet. I'll play through this one, and then I'll play through a couple later levels, like the slums. The slum levels are fucking wild, dude. Actually, you know what? No, I won't. I won't. You know what? I'm not going to do that. Here's what I'm going to do. I'm going to play through this one mystery level. You know what? I'm actually not going to... I'll play through this one bonus level, and then I'll play through all of World 2, and then I will call the video. Because two out of three worlds, I feel like if you've decided you wanted to play this game and you don't want any spoilers, you probably would have clicked off this video at this point. Uh, and there's still three whole worlds for you to discover. There's still a bunch more secret levels that even I haven't seen yet. <sighs> It may be a short, like, two-ish, two hours-ish romp, but it's a very fulfilling one, you know? You don't... Oh, wait a minute. Hold on. What is this? Another portal? Another 2D level? Another 2D level! Hey, that's awesome. I'm down. I'm down with another 2D level. Hell yeah. All right. Over here. Whoa! <laughs> I think that was a gap than if I I would die if I fell into. All right, here we go. Oh, oh, yeah. Oh, whoa. Yep. <laughs> it's just it's just fun. Like I, uh, it just feels good. The grappling hook also feels amazing. I I have gone on record many times and said that you can make any game instantly better if you add a grappling hook to it. You know, they did it with Halo, they did it with Doom, they did it with every 3D platformer ever via this game. You know, if you play any 3D platformer and your game has a grappling hook like this, there you go. You you have made one of the perfect video games. What? And the physics are just so much fun. I, I love like physics, just physics-based platformers. It's just, ah. It's just fun. It's just fun. Here we go. Here we go. We'll get we'll get through here. We'll get through here. Oh. Oh. Oh, I see what they're making me do. I right, this is sick. This is sick. Oh. I like this. Yeah. Let's go. Oh. Whoa. <laughs> <laughs> Almost threw myself off there. Out of here. Let's go. <laughs> Let me guess. Like, I'm going to say 20 seconds. Oh, 50. Okay. That's not bad. That's not bad. Oh, man. All right. Now we will play through 
Uh, yeah, we'll, we'll play through all five levels of, uh, of World 2, or I'll play through a couple more. I wanted this video to be relatively short because this game is pretty short, and I don't want to spoil everything in this game because there's a lot. There's a lot to enjoy, and I feel like the levels themselves are more... Like, the level design is more impactful if you if you're if you don't know what you're getting yourself into, you know? If you're just looking for a fun 3D platformer game... You, you already know. You already know if, you, if you'll enjoy this game or not. Also, there are secrets. I never even mentioned. You can unlock skins in this game. So right now, I'm a little blue doughboy. I can be red. I can be green. I can be purple. You start off with those four when you start the game. You can also be a little the little bear guy, the bear cubes that we saw in the previous level. You can be um, a cum rag. I don't know, man. I don't know what this is. You can be a marble, like Marble Madness. You could be a little cat. You could be a dog. And there are more that you can unlock. I just haven't uh, unlocked them yet. Because th there's unlockables. There's secrets. You, you saw me collect a couple little goo boys earlier in the level. Or earlier in a couple levels. I have no idea what they do. And you know what? It doesn't matter. It doesn't matter what they do. It's just fun. You add collect... You, you make top-notch levels. You give yourself fun physics to play around with. You put some collectibles in the levels. And that's all you... That's, that, that's it. You know, not saying that that's easy to do because good God, making a game this good is not easy. But conceptually, that, you know, oh, here we go. <laughs> Whoa, Nelly. Yeah, speed. Oh, <laughs> yes, baby. And then they start introducing the cannons that'll just fucking kill you. Whoop, there we go. Save myself. We're good. What? Yeah, save myself. It's fine. It's fine. We're fine. Yeah. <laughs> All right. I might have I might have just died actually. I thought I could have sworn I just saw my corpse just fly off in the distance. Maybe the game saved me. Yep. Cannons. Ah, here we go. And here we go. Here is uh, the name of the game. Crumble. The world do be crumbling, though. <laughs> so, not only do you have fantastic speed sections, you also have physics-based, like, almost puzzly in a way. Like, almost puzzle platformer in a way. Because you have to think about, like, what the best way around the level is. And more often than not, it's just go under the level, <laughs> from what I've seen. On a roll, there we go, got another achievement. Normally, I don't 100% games. Uh, I'm normally not that kind of guy. Like, I, I don't really, oh, hang on, I see him, I see him over there. Let's go. Collect. Like I said, normally I'm not the kind of guy who would go off and collect 100% uh, of all the things in a game. You know, that's not something I'm normally into. But for something like this, man, I'm fucking tempted. Because it's... Ah, it's fun. Just grapple and just swing. Swing your arms from side to side. Come on, it's time you know. Do the Mario. <laughs> we've, re we've reached the section in the video where I have officially run out of fun thing, or, uh, nice things to say about this game. So I have now just started reciting... Uh, what was his name? Not Bob Hoskins. Was it Bob Hoskins? No, Lou... Lou Albano. Fuck. I don't know. Who the fuck is Bob Hoskins? Why does that name in my head? It's Lou Albano. Wait, Bob Hoskins was Mario in the movie, wasn't he? In the... In the... In the shitty movie with, uh... With, uh... I, Lou... That's not Lou Ferrigno. Who played Luigi in that movie? Oh... <laughs> oh man, I'm blanking. I'm awful with names. Like, just in general. So, like, if I ever forget your name, if if we meet and I and I ever forget your name, sorry. That's just kind of brain being stupid, but, you know, whatever. Bob Hoskins was Mario. Uh, not Lou Ferrigno. Um, oh, this is going to drive me fucking nuts. Hang on. I'm going to, I'm going to look this up while I'm in the middle of recording this. Uh, uh, <laughs> here we go. Here we go. Uh, live... Action Luigi. John Leguizamo! 
It was John Linguizamo. Oh god, I'm I'm gonna have to do a little bit of, I'm gonna have to do a little bit of editing for this video now, I guess, huh? <laughs> Look at the fucking physics, bro! You don't need anything in this! The physics are enough, bro! The physics are enough to carry you all the way to your dreams! All the way! Uh, okay, well, maybe they'll maybe they'll get in the way sometimes, but you know, it's fine. Okay, maybe you won't grapple onto the thing you wanted to grapple onto, but eh, you know, that's fine. There we go! See, the game is supposed to tell you what, you're, what you'll grapple onto via the little blue dot that you see occasionally, but you'll also notice that uh, the blue dot just doesn't appear sometimes. <laughs> This is a this is a clench game. I I mentioned to the friends I was playing this with last time I played it that this game is uh one of the clench where uh if you know if you know what that means then you know what that means and if you don't then you haven't been playing the right video games my friend. There you go. Ah! Okay. I just don't want to die. Here we go. You know what? Fuck this. I don't want to platform. There. No! Okay, we're going to we're going to do it. We're going to do it right. We're gonna do it right. Yeah! <laughs> oh, that's so cool. <laughs> oh, that's so cool. 20 seconds? This dude beat the game in 20 fucking seconds. Or beat the stage in 20 seconds, excuse me. Oh, let's go. Okay, that was that was poor. That was poor play on my part. Okay, uh. Come on. <laughs> sometimes, sometimes you just need to focus. Okay, okay. Well, sometimes you just need to focus. Also, sometimes it's not worth it to go under the stage. Sometimes it's worth it to just take it slow and and just platform like normal. There we go. Just away. Just away. Just go. <laughs> Then you, you hop, you skip, and you swing your arms. <laughs> it's impressive. It's impressive how fun and fluid this fucking game is. Ah. Oh, I love it. I love this game so... Nope. <laughs> well, I don't love that, that shit play that I made. I love it anyway. Oh, another speed section. Let's go. Oh. <laughs> Yo! <laughs> listen to the fucking elation in my voice. Just listen to how much fun I'm fucking having. I've already beaten this game and I'm having fun with it all over again. That's how you know you that's how you know you made a good goddamn game. Is if you can play it multiple times and still have the exact same joy that you got out of the first time ever playing it. And this game definitely checks that box for me. Now, let's be honest, if you're not the kind of person to get so much cheap thrill out of, you know, dumb grappling hooks, I can see why you would not appreciate this game. However, for uh, men and women of culture, like me, uh, you'll enjoy this game. Wah! <laughs> Just ruin everything! Oh, I got, I got into the fog, okay. The, the whole goal is to not fall in the fog. Why do you, why can you not fall in the fog? I don't fucking know. Who cares? There's no point in asking these questions. There there's no point in trying to understand the deep and intricate lore of funny green goo man. Okay? All you need to know is that the world be a crumbling, your rocket be over there. Get to it. Well. Well. <laughs> oh, oh, oh. I see him. I see him. Well, I, it looks like I'm not getting him today. That's fine. Just let me get to the fucking rocket. Oh, there we go. Yeah, we're, we made it. We made it. We're good. We're golden. Couldn't collect the funny goo man, but that's okay. That's okay. And you know what? I said I would play through all of this world. Let me actually see what level this is. First flight? Yeah, no, 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 no,
if you want to know what this level is and why I think it's worth not spoiling, uh, you can head down in the description of this video and you'll find the Steam page for this game. And even though it's not the Steam Winter Sale, buy it for the price that the developer is asking for because it's worth it. You can, you can support an independent developer. You can have a fun time. And you don't need to spend a thousand hours. Like, I am not... Like, whenever I see a game has a bunch of hours that you play in it, you know? Like, let's say, oh, the campaign of this game is 60 hours. It's like, well, now I really don't want to play that, you know? But for this, it's just... It, you just have fun. Look at all these skins I haven't unlocked. Pumpkin, bee, nut, Mars? What is this? Paper. Oh, it's a... It's a ball. It's a crumpled up ball of paper. Okay. I want to know socket punch. I want to get the crystal one. That'll remind. That reminds me of Glover. Boku Boku ball. It used to be a cube, but now it's a ball from the game Bulk Cube. Oh, this is from a game. Oh, that's a reference to a game. Interesting. All right. I did not know about that. That's a pinball. Okay, so I was right about that. I gotta see where I can find that uh, that crystal skin because a lot of these skins are just uh, are pretty much all the skins are just hidden in the world and you gotta collect them. Um, I think a couple of these I got from I think the bow cube one I got from beating the bow cube level. I'm not sure about that, but uh, most of these skins I just found as collectibles in the world. But anyway, yeah, this is one of my favorite games of 2021. This th this carries such a high recommendation from me. All right, this is sitting up there with the likes of Metroid Dread and Monster Hunter Rise, okay? Like, this dumb fucking grappling hook goo ball game is just top, top, top tier for me. I hope you give this game a shot. It is very much worth it. Uh, and if you do, let me know what you think. I would actually be very interested to hear uh, what people think about this game. But anyway, this has been a very fun video for me. Uh, I want to sit, I want to uh, now at the end of the video thank the patrons, otherwise known as the executive lads, who support the videos directly. Um, and if you would like to become a patron and gain access to uh, bonus videos, behind the scenes content, and uh, special shout outs at the beginning and ending of every single video, uh, you can go down to the description and check out that shit if that interests you. Uh, yeah, I don't really have much else to say. Just thank you for watching to the end. You have no idea how much that means and how much that helps. Uh, thank you again to the patrons. And yeah, just, hey, I'm, I'm feeling very grateful, you know, because you guys, you guys mean the world to me and you make my dream a reality. So thanks again and have a good one.